Uh, I think we have one more question. Smash that like button. Hit the notification icon. <laughs> Ring the bell. Ring yeah. the bell. <laughs> okay. We have one more question. You made it. Yay. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including all these folks. My guests today are actually part of something called the Pigeon Hat Collective, and they're going to introduce themselves individually. But this one right here seems to be the uh, boss, or the head, <laughs> the person in charge. Um, and recently, uh, did everybody here perform at Life is Weird? Um, no. I no everyone did. was there except Jules. But you performed, right? Yeah, I performed, cool. they performed. Right on. Uh, so Ryan ran sound. I worked yeah. the whole time. He worked the entire. He worked for like oh, thirteen hours. Course. Yeah, <laughs> no well, one else could run the board. <laughs> yeah, he's the MVP. So we have th this collective of musicians is also a little bit into altruism and just helping out the the local scene and also the uh, the community. So please welcome to the channel the Pigeon Hat Collective. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hello. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Introduce started out great. <laughs> so for those of you for those of you watching that don't know who the Pigeon Hat Collective is or any of these people, thank you very much. Go ahead and introduce yourselves, whatever order you want, and tell them, you know, what you do and all that jazz. Do we have a volunteer? I'm one third of the Tower of Power, too sweet to be sour. The old best in town, the Reaper Le Wolf, Jules Manning. <laughs> Damn, Damn. I don't think any of us can. <laughs> he had a whole bit. I don't have a bit. Have ended Golf with that. Golf yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Um, I'm, that. I'm Mari. Um, <laughs> Mari Foza. I I run the Pigeon Hat page and um, do a lot of the kind of organizing for the collective, and um, also in Gregor Michael Davis, and I do my own music too. I'm Denise. No, you're not. What? <laughs> Dennis. Dennis what? Asian. Dennis Fiji. I'm Sticker. From Sticker. Cool. And what do you do in Fiji? What am I doing? What do you do in Fiji? I'm sorry, in, uh, <laughs> in Sticker. Also, also, what are you doing right now? Yes. I'm drinking. Right on. What are you doing? What are you doing, <laughs> what are you doing Sticker? I play guitar and sing. Okay. Cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> Next! <laughs> Matthew's time? Okay. Yeah. No, it's Chambers' time. Chambers. I'm Matthew. Mm -hmm. uh, I I play piano and guitar and Trash Animals. I play piano and Aubrey Digital. Uh, I have two solo projects. One chamber where I play like Matthew, like Midwest emo stuff. And then I have like a classical project called Thalmus. And... Fifth thing. Fifth thing? Fifth thing. That's what it's called? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Oh, okay. Right on. And last but not least. Hello. You may recognize this guy if you're an old OG Room Sixer. Uh, I'm Ryan Passion. Uh, I do a lot of the tracking with some of the Pigeon Hat guys. Uh, I play bass and drums on the Trash Animals stuff on the recordings. Um, and I do mostly producing at this point i don't know that sounds weird i feel like a cheese ball saying that i'm a producer anyways i'm you did a whole album shut up i play i, I play <laughs> on the internet yeah <laughs> uh i guess i'm pigeon hats producer and sound guy there you go uh so and definitely stick around we're gonna see a live performance of one song each from him and him and her and uh yeah, it's awesome so i will have social media handles for everybody here down in the description so you can follow them, find out you know, what's going on, where they're playing, etc. Also, if you want to be part of the Pigeon Hat Collective or at least be involved, there will be uh, ways to contact them as well. So, because there's so many of you, I'm just going to ask basically blanket questions, okay? Yeah. Number one, how long have you hated your mother? I'm just kidding. Number one. <laughs> how old am I? <laughs> <laughs> like, my mother's a sweet lady. <laughs> Don't <laughs> squish me. She's like, I like standing there. I hung out with my mom today. <laughs> so seriously though, um, let's start earliest musical influence. That first influence that was like, what was that thing? Like, I want to do that. Whether it was a singer or an album or 
Whatever. And we'll start with this. Bear in the big blue house. What? Bear in the no. big blue house? Great answer. <laughs> he did have some yes. jams back in the day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then the Beatles. Right on. I, I can hear it. Like, if you're talking about first... Where? Yeah, that, oh. that first thing that was just like, I want to do that. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Beatles. Right on. Anybody else? My, uh, my first... Well, it's a split between... Um, Good answer, by the way. Go ahead, sorry. Mine was like a... It was a split between Rick James and uh, Geezer Butler, um, Black Sabbath, because like... Wow. I, I saw what they were both doing with tone and how they presented themselves, and I was like, wow, I want to be the best bass player on earth. And that's a that's a heavy road to take on, but like those guys made me get on that King's Road. I love those boys. Right on. Next. Um, my earliest influence, uh, the person who like made me pick up a guitar was actually Michelle Branch. Um, and... Uh, She's a she's innocent. <laughs> um, Didn't she just beat up the guy from the Black she's, Keys? She bitch slapped her husband Patrick because <laughs> he was oh. cheating on her. Wow. Um. Yeah, but I love her <laughs> and um, <laughs> Michelle Branch. Uh, Jenny Lewis got me into like more folksy stuff, and um, I love her her lyrics and the way she delivers, and. Um, uh, probably Megan Dia. Like, I just discovered my old iPod and found a bunch of old Megan Dia on there. They're kind of, like, indie niche. Um, but Dia was on The Voice for a while, and she, like, really influenced, like, my songwriting style. And, um, yeah. Right on, Mr. Passion. Uh, uh, a lot of, like, Van Halen and Robic Fish. No, oh, wait. Yeah. wait. No, that sounds really wait, wait, wait. weird. Van, Van Halen, Van Hagar. Plays them at no, the same not Van time. Hagar. No, <laughs> not Van but Hagar. I mean that in the way of like the early Van Halen stuff, like as far as influencing the way that I play guitar, like all this early 80s metal stuff, like Van Halen, Randy Rhodes, Iron Maiden, all this chunky, palm muted, like triplets and mm-hmm. stuff and shuffles. And, and then and the stretchy, almost jazz yeah, chords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, as far as, like, Phil the Fish goes, like, that got me into ska, and that got me into, like, playing a lot of bass, especially ska and reggae bass, which is, like, all this, like, really, like, you like, playing ska stuff, you're basically playing leads the whole time. You know, because you're just outlining the chords constantly. You never, you never really sit on the one. Um, and, obviously, like, it gives you, like, a little bit of that, that backwards rhythm on the guitar and, like, learning how to be used. So that's, like, kind of where I'm... I'm still stuck there. I'm still 15 when it comes to guitar playing. Right on. Yeah. You yeah. know Robert Stokes, right? Yeah. I tracked him over at my house. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you, you and Robert Stokes should do a thing. He yeah. was on and he I took off. Totally he, he, he was on the channel, he took off his shoes, and right away there's the checkered side. So I was like, yeah. oh. he, he's a brilliant, oh, he's a oh, brilliant I was, artist. I was yesterday. Robert Stokes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. He's so good. Yeah. It's it's so good. good. Hey, those really, are cool too. Really cool. quick, as a bass player, bass player to bass player, mm-hmm. what's your favorite bass to play? My favorite bass to play right now is my Squire Jazz. Uh, specifically, the reason why I say Squire is because those era Japanese made from the 80s are basically USA copies of 60s basses. Um, skinnier neck. I would like a more P bass sounding neck pickup, but I mean, the jazz bass pickup works for me. It's pretty, yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's not too bad. Yeah. And it, I mean, those vintage pickups, like, they do everything I need them to. Otherwise, like I go the other direction. My P bass, I have flats on it, and I mm. play that with a pick. I like yeah. I like the Squires too because they have the vintage builds. Too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, that's my other Squire P bass is literally one of those cheap hundred dollar whatever's that I got from a buddy. But We're yeah, trying to make dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Anyways, usually I save the gear for the last question, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> here we are. It's all good. <laughs> and last but not least. Tappity tap, tap, snorty yeah. McSnort face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, w- I was really into like Bob Dylan when I was a kid. Oh, I don't. Listen to me play now, you're like, what? But like, no, I like when I first started playing, I was like, I want to like write write, write, write songs with lots of words and have poetic meaning. And, and, you know, I want people to feel ways about yeah, things. I want people to, I want people to boo feels. me when I switch to electric. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Dylan, as a singer songwriter, Bob Dylan has always given me hope. Because of that ugly son of a guy, if, <laughs> if, if he can make it. But, um, also, I, in, I think he's cute. In, in fairness, though, that, in it? fairness, his electric shit did suck. It was terrible. Yeah, well, ooh, well, yeah. But that's why he started being hunted out as a songwriter. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Moving on. Because <laughs> we could be here all day talking about, you know, going down that rabbit hole. But I wanted to talk a little bit about actually the Patient Hack Collective, which is why you're here. So if, can you go a little more into depth into terms of, like, how did it start and where is it now? Ooh, I want to start. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so on the give, news, what, <laughs> like three years ago, they were like, hey, was, some asshole is gluing hats on pigeons. Yeah. And it was, like, on the news here in Vegas. And, it like, was for the, a few the months rodeo. later. The rodeo yeah, yeah, yeah. was in town and, like, someone was, someone was abusing pigeons. And, and they're killing pigeons. It was unfortunate. Yeah. It was mean. But at the same time, it's a very, like, Vegas-specific thing. So we were like, that's, let's take that as a name. And like pigeons are really like kind of overlooked and we kind of like to incorporate like weirder fringe people and like fringe styles and um, um, un- underappreciated <laughs> people and um, and bring them into the collective. And I, I love pigeons and like I love the cowboy thing. It's kind of like we do what we want kind of thing. Yeah. And um, and I think it was like a conversation between me and Germs. Um, he was like sitting on the couch, and we were trying to come up with actually the the name for his new band, which is Trash Animals now. And um, I said uh, Pigeon Hat because I was like reading about the like the pigeons, like an article about the pigeons <laughs> with the hats on, and um, and I thought that was cute. Um, so it ended up being Pigeon Hat Collective. <laughs> And, uh... You realize that's a little messed up, right? It is really messed up. There is a... There's actually, like, a pigeon, um... Like, a pigeon-saving organization in town that helps, like, kind of... That helps save some of those pigeons. And, um... Yeah. Some of them died and some of them are okay, but... Um... If you want to put a hat on a bird, do it safely. Do not glue it. Don't glue it on the head. Yeah, those pigeons all died. Um, no, yeah. there were some that were there were some that uh, were saved from the oh, pigeon. Okay, well I thought they all just no, they <laughs> maybe just don't. Some of them, some of them were saved. Maybe just don't. They're not exactly yeah. the yeah. cleanest things, anyway. But so. yeah, we do not condone Hashtag we do not floor. condone <laughs> animal abuse in any way. No, just neither does Room Six. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, we're not so, affiliated. So right now, um, I know that you were uh, kind of a big part of the Happy Earth um, market, which unfortunately closed, and. What are you, what is Pigeon Hat Collective focusing on now? Um, right now, I actually have a list of things that uh-huh. we have because I'm gonna I'm gonna forget. <laughs> there's, there's, an agenda? there's an agenda. We, yeah, I so get, I wasn't on the. We just, is there a meeting? I didn't. I didn't get the memo. In, in tell me, tell me. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so we just finished up Life Is Weird, and it was kind of like an alternative to Life Is Beautiful that accidentally ran on the same day as Life Is Shit. Like I love. Uh, those people that organize life of shit, but Whoops. crappy mistake or crappy coincidence. Um, is that a pun? <laughs> um, but we finished up Life is Weird, which is like our little free festival at Happy Earth to kind of close out their shop because they are going mobile. Um, and um, we're compiling photos for that, and he's editing all the like live audio that he did uh, for everyone's sets, except for one. I'll, I'll, are we, are okay. we going to talk about it? Um, and later, then later. Okay. I'm hoping to host an open jam sometime in like October and then an art jam soon too. And right now we may or not be in the works of opening up a DIY venue and building a stage somewhere. Um, and our Halloween special is going to come out soon because that was like the, the first Pigeon Hat project was our, the Halloween specials. Like it started out with me and Germs doing like Halloween covers of things and posting them and then incorporating more people into that. And then like that kind of morphed into the collective, like it was kind of centered around Halloween (laughs) because we do Halloween like really big. And, um, I want to do a winter holiday showcase like we did, uh, this past year and maybe do in December and, uh, have new members soon, get more feminine energy up in here too. (laughs) But yeah, that's what's next for like the collective as a whole. But we do have like, Nope. People releasing things soon, and I'll announce them on the media and social media stuff. Right on. Yeah. Um, and for those of you wondering who Germs is, if you haven't seen that interview I did with him and Jeremy Luker, which are two thirds of Trash Animal, I, just, I play in the live band. It's the, the, okay. They're on, they're well, on anyway, the I'm technically an unlockable character. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Best description of. <laughs> but I. Check out the interview for Trash Animals when you're done watching this. It, we had a hoot. 
And uh, I think we did a music video. For so, yeah, you, you guys gave me the the, the, the song to play. Anyway, it was a fun time. Moving on, because time is of the essence. I hate the phrase "in the interest of time" when it comes to doing interviews, but unfortunately, we don't get it back. We don't get it back. As we're talking about that, we're losing more time. Yes. You, can't, <laughs> you can't. You can't kill time. It's just a suicide. Yeah. That was beautiful. As, yeah, I stole that. Anyway. This is deep, bro. <laughs> so, I wanted to ask, what's up next? You, you kind of talked about what's coming, what's your, what's the hopeful future and what's coming up. Is there anything immediately happening with Pigeon Head? Immediately. Bear in mind, this probably won't come out until you know, October. <clears throat> the next thing is going to be the Halloween special. We're going to start getting that together. Um... Uh, we might record maybe one or two music videos for that. Uh, we have a lot of them built up from the previous years, and we might do like a drunk history style um, drunk thing history. for that. <laughs> like go over like the past or like stories of like how ho- like spooky stories and things. And um, that's a really good idea. Stay definitely follow them down in the description. Follow their social media. Stay tuned. Um, I, I'm gonna be. I, I want to know. I don't yeah. know when you're doing that. So, yeah, Halloween's going to be our next big thing and um, starting up the venue. And Woot. Is, uh, Woot. When we get there. Right on. Now, I know, uh, I don't, Mari, you're a, um, you also do jewelry. Yeah. Does anybody else here have any sort of other creative outlets besides music? I, I make really bad pixel art. <laughs> I love your pixel art. <laughs> it's, it's good. Yeah. I, I, else? Good. I, I do bum fights on the weekend. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Um, like, you fight the bums or the bums fight each other? Do you record it, them? It, it's typically, you know, it depends. Sometimes I'll jump into the fray. No, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. How I feel. I'm, jo- I'm joking. No, but, uh, but I, um... It's just a double down Friday. <laughs> no, but it's, like, it's uh, one of my passions is becoming managing, uh, helping, like, it, it's still tied in with music, but I want to help the younger bands and people that can't get shows get shows, because I've been around a long time, so has Mari. And I see a lot of these younger guys not getting their due because they don't know how. And I would like to help them get shows, show them avenues, show them how, even give them the you know some of the promoter ties that I have. And that's that's one of the reasons I joined Pigeon Hat Collective to to help out with that sole that sole purpose. Mm-hmm. But that's just a weird side hobby I have from being the best in town. <laughs> Thank you very much for being the embodiment of everything perfect in music. <laughs> Good night. Um, that's actually really awesome. Uh, that that whole sentiment is kind of what my channel is also about, which is trying to you know showcase the local scene and, and do what I can for it. Now that I'm not a musician who plays out regularly, you know, um, I was telling Dennis off camera that I just got you know I kind of reached a point where I was like I'm done loading gear at two in the morning, but how else can I support the scene? And this is what I do. If you'd like to be on the I channel, wish I was done. <laughs> you're easy to a 32 year old. You're, yeah. you're young. And, uh, if you're you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address or the Room Six social media link down there in the description. That's also where you can find ways to support the channel, such as Room Six Shop for merch, my Patreon page with patron only content, um, and also my own CDs that I put out. Uh, I think we have one more question. Smash that like button. Hit the notification icon. <sighs> Ring the bell. Ring yeah. the bell. <laughs> okay. We have one more question. You made it. Yay. I wanted to ask, I asked this of all my prey. Let's pretend we're talking a little you. Okay. Let's go back to that question about your earliest musical influence. If you could say one thing about being in the music industry and being in, the, you know, just doing music to yourself when you started, what would it be? And don't say change your strings. I'm looking at you, math boy. <laughs> So whoever wants to go first, talk to you. Talk to the the youngins. Talk to the new musicians there. Sorry, what's what's one thing you wish someone had told you before you got into music? I tell myself to pack a lunch. Literally, that's yeah, really good advice. Honestly, like I when I first Dude, got starving at a show. When I no like more than that meta- metaphorically, but yes, also that. But like when I first got into the business, I I honestly thought like yay. I got to play music with my friends, we, and then, you know, when it becomes more than a hobby, when it becomes like more than that, I mean, all of us here, you, you don't, you don't just want to just do your thing, just to do your thing. If you can get paid doing it, you do it. Right. And a lot of people don't realize how much goes into that, how much the, the blood, sweat and tears, the not getting paid. 
the going back and forth, the fighting with your bandmates, the all, a lot of the shit, the quiet moments that people don't see that you go through, I'd tell myself to pack a lunch because it's brutal. Strap in, you're going to be in for a while. <laughs> it's going to be a ride. Yeah. Next. Uh, don't get rid of gear that you like. Yes. I mean, oh, I've, I've, like, done oh, that I've gotten rid of so much gear that I've, I probably should have yeah. kept. Let me just pause it right there. Let me shout out yeah. my wife who would not let me get rid of my gear that's in the garage, including speakers that are taller than Mari, and and just all this gear that I ended up using for my Room 6 Summer Showcase at Chiba Hut. Awesome. Which, I was like, I'm so glad I have this. Now, did it work like I wanted? Eh, hits and misses. But thank you, honey. Will your wife yeah. letting you keep that gear? Keep her. Oh, make well, a keeper. Make, we make just passed keeper. 20 years of marriage. Yeah. Let's go. I think she's yeah. stuck yeah. with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you, and then we got a couple more, and then we're done. Yeah. Um, practice to a metronome. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Wait, were you done? Pretty much. Okay. I was going to elaborate on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, practice, practice to a metronome. Practice to a metronome. That's, uh, that's all I got. Do that. Younger me. <laughs> it, yeah, it's annoying, but yeah. You got, you got to do it. I know bands, some it. of the tightest metal bands, some of the tightest, heaviest bands that you're on, you're like at a show, and you, how do they hear each other? They they have a, a freaking click track in their ear. Yeah. yeah. That's all they have. Mm-hmm. And 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 the drummer controls it. And it goes such a long way, too, when you finally start recording, when you get into that phase. Oh, if you don't practice dude. to a metronome, you will be all over the place. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of people out there, if, if, you, if you're new... You think, oh, I can keep time. No, you can't. You think practice, you can't. You practice can't. to a metronome. Go, go, practice go record, to a metronome. An, album. Go record I, an album. I played a feel, <laughs> and this feels like you're out of time, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go record with an engineer in, an out, in a studio, and, and then, yeah. Usually, we have so much more vibe live. It's like, yeah. They will. You're not paying attention. Don't do not give this guy more work. Do not. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Basically, uh, I think all we have Danny. Left is, I think all we have left is Denise. Just calling people out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Danny, I'm going to shout out people that aren't here. Um, just like, uh, don't be a pushover. Um, just smoke weed. Yeah, and just do good stuff. That's going to be cool. Yeah, like, just don't give up or anything. It's going to be all right, Pam. <laughs> I'd, say, like, I'd say, like, put your ego down because, um... Um, having bandmates and working with people is really difficult and like you really have to kind of keep yourself humble because I've gotten I've seen like so many like groups fall apart because uh, people like people's inflated self, like sense of self and ego like gets in the way of their like musical relationships and their friendships and um, yeah it's not worth like it's not worth writing those things over so I think I couldn't agree more. Um, we're pretty much ready to go upstairs, but you, you said you wanted to shout out some people who aren't here? Yeah, I just want to like list off the people that aren't here and um, because they have a lot of things going on too. Like, obviously, like, Jeremy's Yeah, this, this is not the whole collective. Yeah, there's like way more of us. Um, <laughs> um, let's see who we got. I don't even know who all is. Today. <laughs> yeah, I almost had something to do we'll, today. Well, listen up, Buttercup. You're about to learn. <laughs> learn what? I'm here. Yeah, so um, Spencer. Um, they do photography and music and they, they played on the Trash Animal album and they are uh, kind of a core founding member. And, um, let's see. You're down. <laughs> Germs, who's not here, he's Trash Animals and he does a lot of the, like, production stuff, like, when it comes to, like, videos and things. And, um, Ivan in uh, Ugly Boy and Lipidoptera. Um, Ivan's really awesome. He's doing a show tonight. <laughs> and uh, Chris Mendoza, obviously, who couldn't, who's working. Chris is a bitch. <laughs> he, he just played, uh, oh. not last Sunday, but the Sunday before he played the Summer Showcase. I mean, the uh, Songwriter Showcase at Soul Belly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He did great. Yeah, Chris is great. Um, and uh, Aubrey, bitch. who had an entire interview with you already. Yes, yes, she did. Aubrey Digital is amazing. She has, yeah. Aubrey is tremendous. She's Aubrey's really awesome. good. Um, and Sonia. Sonia, too. Sonia she's out of the country. She she's she's, right she's in the Philippines, oh. but... I thought, I thought she'd be in Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... 
But yeah, um, we'll have everyone, <laughs> we'll have everyone's handles there. So check out everyone, their products. Um, you scare me. Right on. Me too, yeah. Thank you so much for, for, for paying attention. Thank you for watching. And thank you guys for coming on. For sure. Best in town. Yeah. <laughs> Stick around. We are going to see these three right here in a line. Um, upstairs in room six, each performing a song. And, and you'll see my beautiful mug sooner than later. That's right. Uh, in the meantime, I guess we'll see you upstairs. Everyone say temporarily goodbye. Temporarily, temporarily goodbye. goodbye. Temporarily. Finally, somebody did it. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi, I'm Mariposa, and the song's called Roleplay. I want to thank Pigeon Hat Collective for coming on the show. It was a great interview and a great performance. If you want to know more about them, check the description. In the meantime, remember to be amazing. If you want to see more videos like this, click up there somewhere. And if you want to see, subscribe, uh. if you want to subscribe, ah! if you want to subscribe, you know what to do. Click down there. Jeez. Remember to be amazing. We'll see you next time on Room Six. Say goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Bye bye. Ba da ba ba da ba. There's always one.